Yeah. I mean, two things about this. Like first, you know, women, they decide at a certain point that they want to maybe start a family. And Mm -hmm. as a, as a, a woman, it's a lot harder to be on the road. How many days a year, you know, after having a baby, wanting to be there for a baby. So yeah, there of course is the human aspect of it, of what you want in life. Mm -hmm. Um, but maybe she's, you know, at a place. Well, first of all, we all know how retiring and wrestling goes. I have seen (laughs) on the indie scene myself, I have seen a handful of names. It's kind of like, Oh, I, I, you know, congratulations, you're retiring. See you in three months. Exactly. It's like, like retirement almost- match this month, you know, come back match next month. It's like, it's very short term uh, yeah. a lot of the time. So, but, you know, I, I checked on her. She seems to be kind of getting interested in things outside of wrestling. She's doing some things for like adoption, like mm-hmm. pets, you know, things like that. So she obviously is a worker she's going to continue to work she's not going to just sit home with her feet up i just don't see her as that kind of woman but Mm -hmm. um you know it's just you know and 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 two i was thinking about this like aj you know she reached a certain height you know she did so well in such a short amount of time and then it's like you know she gets married she comes back and it's like will she ever reach that peak again and sometimes people think maybe I should, you know, just kind of go out while I'm on top per Mm -hmm. se, instead of trying to drag things out. So they want them to be remembered as, you know, Mm -hmm. the best that they were at that time. Well, letting to that, she did just have her match, a really good match at WrestleMania, not some, in my opinion, stupid invitational battle royalty thing like they had last year, right? Um, That's next week, sir. What's that? Oh, that's week. next week. I, I see we're, yeah, we're going back to the well on that one. Um, but anyways, that's Battle Royal, you know. Um, but anyways, but, but, but um, that missed my other point now. Sorry, Bobby. I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. It's, 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 it's all right. Um, but also, you know, she, she also didn't, apparently the WWE wasn't aware she was about to go this direction. So I think it was very smart as far as that goes. But again, you know, I think there's also this kind of glass ce- ceiling. I don't know if you watch Total Divas. We're all strangely addicted to it here around here. Um, but I know, like, the, the bell is... Not all sorts. Not all of us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Will. Thank not you. All. all of us. There's, there's true... one sane one in the bunch. <laughs> Sorry. All of us true wrestling fans are addicted we want to, to know all every wrestling. aspect to it. Oh, Total Divas, She's NXT. Right. Go on you I'm out. I'm telling you. Go on you out. Network all day, every day. <laughs> 999. <laughs> 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 but anyways, um, but the, even there, that discussion is happening amongst the Bellas. You know, unfortunately, if one of them wants to get pregnant, that kind of affects the other one because they're kind of a package, right? But they're 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 really kind of tackling those things that I think it sounds like that that AJ's getting. And, and I think it's an unfortunate we talk about like the, the topic going around is gender equality in, in the business, and it's definitely not there in the entertainment business across the board. It's not going to be because it's the entertainment business, unfortunately. But it, it, there's not really much further to go than where like Nikki is now, where AJ was for the longest time. Beth Phoenix was there on top and she left, you know. Um, is that, do you think, a pro, is it is it a WWE problem or is that a wrestling problem, you think? Or is it a problem? Um, is is what 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 is the problem? Um, kind of like you lost me, like, sorry. I'm sorry. That, that's the kind of peak and there's not really much more to go and maybe, maybe that's why this shows a short span. For well, like I that. think that WWE has changed a lot um, mm-hmm. and in the in the way that they allow their workers, wrestlers, superstars to go different directions in their career instead of only being WWE. You know, you maybe want to have a fashion line or, you know, want to do movies or whatever. If you want to do other things other than wrestling that they allow you to do that and using the WWE platform to build your fan base, build your name, you know, mm-hmm and go those different directions to chase your other dreams. So, you know, I just think it's up to the person in general. I mean, if you remember Trish Stratus, she she went out on top too. But then it, w- it seemed like it was just a short time later and it was like Lita's retiring. And it was like, where did this come from? I didn't see it. Mm-hmm. I didn't see So, you know, and, and we know AJ Lee is a huge Lita fan. So to maybe she didn't want to be, you know, have that published in the late. She'll be in the Hall of Fame in three years, you know. Hall of Fame three years. She was different, you know, (laughs) and that's what stuck. And so now someone's got to fill that void. Or maybe it is because we do see a lot of girls coming up. I I think, um, uh, personally, I think, you know, between what's happening in NXT and what's there now on the main roster, I think we're getting a pretty good mix of, like, girls that can work up there. Absolutely. And put some good men. Give Divas a chance is happening and everything. Maybe it's time. Maybe she was seeing everything getting flooded and everybody coming up. and like, well, I'm out. 
maybe. Do you think that her wearing that Bailey shirt was a way for her to kind of like pass the torch to who she felt?